Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the compressor inverter control board in the Frigidaire refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, Phillips and a flat glass screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new compressor inverter control board, the mounting bracket, and the instructions sheet. The compressor inverted control board is mounted on the side of the compressor at the back of the refrigerator. It's an electronic device that controls the compressor. If both the freezer and the refrigerator sections are not cold at all and the compressor won't start, check and replace the inverter control board if needed. So here we are at the back of the refrigerator and we need to remove this access panel in order to get it apart. We need to take out this four quarter inch screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to take it out one by one. And then pull it out. So as you can see, uh, this uh, nice black roundish thing called compressor. And uh, this thing mounted on the side of the compressor is our inverter control board, compressor inverter control board. So we need to take it out and install a new one. And uh, this is that screw. And I'm using the uh, Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to reach in and, uh, and take this screw out. Now we're going to remove this uh, inverter control board from the compressor. Lift it up and put it out here. I'm going to leave it here for now. We will need to do some bending in order to take it out. So the next step is uh, taking this plug off the compressor, compressor terminals. I'm using a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to pry it off. Be careful, don't break the terminals on the compressor. All right. Next, I'm going to remove this uh, Phillips screw over there. Using a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to unscrew it. And I'm going to remove this uh, cover. I'm going to take it out. And uh, we have here connectors. So I'm going to unplug this uh, green wire first. And I use pliers, needle nose pliers. I'm going to grab it and pull it out. Next, I'm going to unplug this too. And this cable, that uh, locking tab, we're going to press it down with a flat blade screwdriver and pull it out. All right, I'm going to move this uh, control board a little bit out of the way so we can expose that uh, ground wire there at the back. We need to disconnect the two. So I'm going to reach in with the uh, needle nose pliers and grab that and I'm going to pull it off. Next, we need to remove this uh, box, that inverter control board, out of this compartment. So I'm going to put it on the top of the compressor and slide it out. This is the old compressor inverter control board next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. And now I'm going to disconnect a couple of plugs. So I'm going to take out the harness that we're not going to use. And this one, the tabs on the side, push them in, pull it apart. All right, so we're going to discard this uh, green wire, 
put it somewhere out of the way. All right. Next move would be taking out the compressor from that uh, sits and uh, lift it up and move it to the right. So make this space uh, a bit larger so we can work there. I need to remove three locking pins and three washers. And uh, the one at the back. Okay, now we're gonna grab this compressor and we need to clear this mounting brackets at the bottom. We have this uh, grommets. We need to lift it just above that. Uh, be gentle. Don't do extra moves because we just need to clear that brackets. That's all. Also, kind of be careful with this tube here. Okay. So we're going to bend this out of the way. Be careful. Don't overdo it. First, I'm going to take this one outside. And hold on right there so it wouldn't get bent over here. It should get bent right there. And give us some space here. All right, so we got here the control board and we got this uh, bracket, mounting bracket. So the control board mounts on the bracket, the bracket mounts on the compressor. So I'm gonna show you how the bracket goes on on the compressor. I'm gonna slide it underneath here. And uh, we got two holes that will be matching this openings on the mounts, of the compressor mounts. Uh, we're going to take it out. Next, I'm going to show you how the uh, control board mounts on the bracket. We've got this uh, little uh, tab here, and we've got the cutout here. So we're going to insert this connector into the cutout here in the bracket. And then the tab goes into the cutout and the control board housing like this. So I'm going to turn it around and we're going to bring it into the opening here. It would be wise if you're not going to break any copper lines on the way. All right, so we're in. Take all the plugs out of the way. All right, so we're going to install this uh, connector onto the uh, three pins on the compressor. Push them on. All right, next I'm going to use this uh, Phillips screw that we took out from the uh, old control. And we're going to secure that uh, the bracket and the new control. Next, I'm going to connect two plugs here. Uh, I'm going to start with the large one here. I don't think we can pull it any more than that, so we're going to reach in, match the shapes. There are the uh, D shape cutouts here. So I'm going to turn this one over and plug it in. Click on and this plug that's right there all right okay i'm going to use this uh, quarter inch nut driver and i'm gonna get down there and take out this quarter inch screw at the bottom i'm going to connect the ground wire down there and i'm going to place the screw into this loop here and our green ground wire connector. And we're going to place it back. 
Alright, and now we're going to have fun with uh, moving the compressor back onto the brackets, onto the mounts. Alright, so you're going to lift up the compressor, bend the uh, wires, be careful. Now, after we uh, install this uh, control board bracket onto the compressor mounting bracket, we need to install the lock pin into this hole over there and lock the bracket. So I need to press down on the compressor and I'm going to slide it in. And a little tricky when you do press it onto, onto the bracket itself. I'm going to use pliers. Okay, now it's secured on this side. Next I'm going to install the washer on this uh, mount here and we're going to put the pin in and slide it so it will lock. Okay, now I'm going to attach the compressor to the mount on the right side at the rear. I'm going to place uh, first the, uh, the washer and then I'm going to install the pin and slide it in. And the last thing before we install the rear access panel, and we're gonna bend this uh, back into the machine compartment. Again, be careful, grab it here at the top, fold it and uh, bend it in. Then we're gonna bend this up slightly and put it inside and bend it more. Make sure it clears this uh, the roller at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, now I'm gonna install this uh, rear access panel. I'm gonna place it inside the bottom into the base, and the uh, power cord goes into this opening. And I'm gonna match the holes, and now I'm gonna secure it with the four quarter-inch screws. I'm going to use a quarter-inch screwdriver. I'm going to secure the panel. Plug the fridge in, open the water, and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 